motorcycle designers thing right here. This is straight from the collection of the Sultan of Brunei. FCC white body straight from the UK, formerly from Germany, and it went to Africa. Africa. Welcome back to the channel guys, the biggest ever do it, it's the Patina Collective, you already know what it is, another sunny day in the kingdom of Boca Raton, and today is another special delivery, yet again, another custom build, another coach build car, and what is it? It's a C140, so just like I said last time, when the other one arrived, it's a unicorn, and here's another unicorn. There it is guys, just like that, another Cabriolet C140. There's not that many in America. I predict there's at least maybe 10, under 10. Looking for the V12 that R. Kelly had. All the way from Mississippi. We're gonna start to go design this thing right here. C140, but someone thought it would look better with the roof cut off, so they cut the roof off. Just like this Schultz right here, another custom made Cabriolet, another one right here, another unicorn in the building. So, shout out to everybody with the C140s, keeping them alive. And if you got a C140 and you want to chop the top off, go ahead because it looks great. Here it is. Got this thing looking clean. So what you got? Trying to got this delivery. This one just came in? Yeah. But this is what I was thinking, right? I was thinking getting a C1 uh, C140 Kuna kit. Mm. Okay. Red. Imagine with a black interior, a red C140 Kuna kit. With a black interior, full rim. Okay. You've been dailying this? Yeah, man, I've been dealing that Maybach. Nice. It's killer. I eat Taco Bell in it. <laughs> I had my dog in it. It's rain, bro. We daily the box. That's what we do, man. You usually ride them Bach to Bach. Yeah. It's just and I'm in them way. Gucci flip flop. Yeah. So you know what I was doing? Yeah. In oh, some yeah. Gucci flip flop. <laughs> Turn it into the Sterling Moss. Take this off and cut it right here. Just have all drop. That's okay. Huh? That's fucking crazy. That's what we should do with it. But you get to wear like a helmet. You hear it? No, bro, it's a fucking casual car. I was Sun wear sunglasses. I was wear a helmet. About, What's gonna hit you in the head? I was thinking about red Cooney convertible C140. Never been done before. You need that. Neither of those have been done before. C140 convertible. Sterling Moss. Take this off. Open everything. I think that's insane. I think it's crazy, but cool. All right, guys, drop a comment. Should we cut the windshield off, make it a Sterling Moss, or should we make it a C140 convertible Koenig special? Red. All things hit. Freaking door. We took it off and the door slammed it in uh, my, my face like this. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> can you take a look at the C140 for us? What's going on with that? Just, just, just to hey, see man. if it's uh, good to drive to Lakewood. Okay. Let me put you on. Oh, it's nice to see a new belt. Yeah, that belt is really cracked. But if you don't push it hard, you'll be okay. Yeah, it is bad. It's better yeah. to wait than to be stuck on the highway. Yeah. And the back cover gasket is leaking too. Yeah. But either way, that is not that important. Oh, there's a, a noise also. I'm beeping. When you're driving, it's like... And it has a brake light, but... Sometimes, it's take a little bit, and it's not bad you. So you just grab it, push it with your feet. And that's it. So right now we're just pulling up. Uh, over at Lewis's, I looked at the engine bay and there was like leaves and a bunch of like beehives and dirt. And I just want to do a quick little cleaning. So I'm gonna blow all that out and wipe it down real quick. Bro, 
<laughs> There's stuff everywhere in this car, man. Where'd y'all, whoever sent us this car, where'd you have it? Let us know in the comments. Where'd you have this car? <laughs> from the collection of the Sultan of Brunei. It ended up in the UK, and then we ended up picking it up and bringing it over to America, its final destination, its final resting place, the Piscina Collective. In front of it, another gem straight from the UK, right-hand drive, Recaro seat, blue interior, white paint, and it's a six so It's finally at the Piscina Collective and its final resting place. Let's go. Time has come, one of the most special cars in the collection has arrived, and this is the most special part of it all. The Sultan himself, the Sultan of Brunei, ordered a gang of these. Yes. This is the only one that's left, though. SL73. Number, number 52, um, right here, you can see it. Crazy car, man. Enjoying the fruits of our labor, and this right here is one of the most juiciest fruits of them all. straight from Germany to the UK and straight to Florida. And you already know, it's one of the few right-hand drives made by AMG at the factory in Germany. 6.0 hammer, 117 motor, here it is. Get the story right. AMG Germany, to Africa, to the UK, to here. Who had this in Africa? The psycho. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel guys. Another special day in the kingdom of Boca Raton. The biggest ever do it. And once again, another special delivery. Let's see what we got. The British cars are gonna watch Teletubbies right here. Maybe, I don't know, some British cooking show or Downton Abbey. Downton Abbey, we're watching Downton Abbey. <laughs> We got the SEC wide body straight from the UK, formerly from Germany, and it went to Africa. Africa. So the dictatorship of Mali in 1986. Supposedly it was one of two ever made. So uh, right hand drive by the factory at AMG in Germany. So here it is in all its glory. Um, we're gonna get it right. Let's see what's up with it. Two right hand drive ones I made of it. And I guess, guess, no more is ordered to? In 1986, Mali, Africa, the dictatorship of Mali. Holy shit. SL73, man, straight from the Brunei, straight from the salt in the Brunei, in the flesh, right here. Brunei, boys. Here it is guys, Gen 2 Koenig SEC straight from Japan, quad exhaust, you've never seen it before because I never pulled it out, Film. here it is for the first time. Gen 2 Koenig, I'm about to take it down to the shop, clean it up, it's beautiful, I mean the interior is nice. The only thing I see about it is uh, there's a lot of cracking all in the paint. So it's obviously going to get sent out, get fixed. And also, another cool thing these panels, instead of leather, they're all wood. 
I think that's really dope. It's a different touch. So yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and take it, clean it up, and bring it back. Done cleaning this Koenig that we will see today. Gen 2. Came here super sandy, dirty. So I gave it a quick wash, cleaned it up. Got it looking all shiny and polished, presentable, you know? So now I'm just cleaning up a little bit. About to go take it back to the showroom. <laughs> thing about these body kits is you can tell this one was obviously driven because it has all the rock chips along the side, skirts in here. So that's one downside I guess of having this wide body kit. All the rocks flying from the front is going to chip this. But the solution to that, PPF, ceramic coating, it could help a lot, you know. But yeah man. <laughs> Crazy day, once again, another crazy day. Uh, three cars arrived, SL73 from the Salon de Brunei, the Gen 2 Koenig right here, crazy, and the 560 SEC 6.0 right-hand drive, one of two ever made by AMG in Germany, super rare unicorn. So you already know what it is, guys, the biggest to ever do it, and we're not stopping. More Koenigs, more ABCs, more Bravises, more SGSs, more AMGs, more everything on the way. Let's go.